whatever direction you want to be in for the hundred. All right, so lay down and center yourself on your mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a stretch. And let's take a couple deep breaths before we actually go into it. So inhale. And as you exhale, gently use the thighs to press the air out of your lungs and feel connected with your back into the mat. Do that two more times. Release a little tension. Inhale. And when you exhale, you're trying to find that connection between your back and the mat by pulling your abdominals in and up. One more time. Give yourself a little stretch. On the next inhale, you're going to lift your head up so that your forehead is towards your knees. Bring your legs initially out to tabletop, knees over hips, and stretch your arms out straight. And from your hips up to the knees, you're pumping your arms for the hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, five, and exhale. If it's available to you, you extend your legs out to a high diagonal. Keeping the legs tight together. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And inhale, three, four, five. If it feels like you can keep your back connected into the mat, you would lower your legs down to 45 or go even lower than that. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Hi, Kathan. Uh, inhale. I know. <laughs> Three more times, you guys. Exhale. Two more. And exhale. Last one. Exhale all the air out. Now, don't rest your head. Just pull the knees in, hold behind your thighs, and rock up to seated. This way you don't get too much of a break. Hold with a very finger light grip behind your knees. Your feet are down on the mat and your legs are apart. Just hip width. And then dive your head down so that you create a C curve with your spine. Pull your abdominals in and round back until your arms are straight. It might not be very far at all, but look down at your stomach and see if you can get it flatter and then dive your head forward. Do that again, round back for your half roll down, deepen the abdominals and come back up. One more with the hands as help and then we take the hands away. You're going to reach your arms out. Your head is still down. You're going to round back as if you're still holding on. And then exhale, dive forward and roll up. Head between the knees. Two more. Inhale to go back. Anchor your feet into the mat as best you can. And exhale, stretch forward. One more like that. Inhale to round back. Find your lower back if you can in the mat. If that's too far, don't worry about it. And exhale, stretch forward. And then you're going to sit up so that you can straighten your legs all the way out. Bring your legs tight together. You can either flex your feet or point your feet, whatever helps. And then reach your arms out in front of you to lay all the way down for the roll up. So roll down the same way you did for your half roll down, articulating into the mat. You'll reach your arms back by your ears, staying off the mat with the arms. Lift your arms up, lift your head up, and roll forward. Now when you stretch for your feet, do three pulses. Stretch three, two, one, C curve your spine to roll back and articulate into the mat and stretch your arms behind you, lengthen your abdominals out long. Lift your arms, lift your head, roll forward, stretch for three, two, one, inhale, start to roll back, get your nice deep C curve and then lengthen your spine out long on the mat. One more like that and then we'll pick up the tempo, arms up, head up, roll forward, pulse for three, two, one, inhale, start to roll back, and exhale, lower down. Now pick up the tempo. Inhale, up, exhale, forward, inhale to roll back, exhale, lower down. Three more, inhale, up, exhale, forward, inhale, roll back, exhale, lower down. Two more. Work the breath, it might help you on the full roll up. Last one. And then lay all the way back down. You can readjust on your mat if you need to. So from here, pull the right knee into your chest and give it a stretch. Place your hands behind that same right thigh. Instead of pulling the thigh close to your knee, shift the knee and thigh away a little bit and extend the leg up and bend it back down. Your head can rest or you can put a pillow under your head. Two, and bend it down 
and one. Bend it back down. Now keep your legs straight up in the air and you're gonna flex your foot and point it three times. So flex, point one, flex, point two, flex, point three. Now keep both feet flexed. You're gonna climb up your leg like you're climbing a tree. Lift your head up and climb up your leg and stretch your forehead to your knee. That's the first part. The second part is sitting up tall, lowering the leg away, point your top foot, flex your top foot, go back to your forehead to knee stretch and climb down your leg until you lay down on the mat. Two more the same way, climb back up, forehead to knee stretch, sit up tall, point your foot, flex your foot, forehead to knee to finish it and climb back down. One more time. Forehead to knee as you climb all the way up. Sit up tall, maybe you're not close to your leg anymore. Point your foot, flex your foot, forehead to knee. Climb all the way back down. We're going into the one leg circles. So the leg stays up, lower your arms by your sides, point your top foot, circle to the left, down around and up five. Left, down around a four. And three, two, Stop and reverse to the right, around to the left, and stop at the top. Four more. You got it, you guys. Three, and two, and one. From here, lower the leg down. Do a roll up for me to come up to a seated position. So once you're on the short box at the reformer, we do side tree. So with the same right leg, you're gonna take your right hand to the instep of your right leg and straighten that leg out and bring the leg open to the side like you do side tree on the short box. Seated. Sometimes we round back and do back bends on the short box, but this is a seated one. And then bring the leg out in front of you. For your ITB band stretch, your legs are pretty much side by side. You hold the left hand on the outside of your foot and you twist and look over your right shoulder, or you can put your back hand behind you and rotate. And then we have the hip stretch or your figure four. Doing it seated, you cross the ankle over the thigh. And if you want more of a stretch, you bring yourself close, close, close to your leg and turn yourself into a nice tight little ball. It should open up the right hip. How far or close you are in a bent position is up to you or you can stay laying down and do it. So put that right foot back down, lift the powerhouse Move your hips back so your legs are straight. Lay all the way down. We do the same thing to the second side. So from here, hug your left knee in. Hold behind your thigh and kick it up without the thigh so close. Three, bend the knee. Two, pull your stomach in nice and flat and tight. One, and then keep your leg up straight. And then from here, flex your foot and point three times. Flex and point. One more time, flex and point. Now flex both feet. You're gonna climb your tree, so lift your head up and climb your tree, do your forehead to knee stretch. Lower the leg away one time to point your top foot, flex your top foot, forehead to knee. So this is all from your short box, advanced. Climb back down, climb back up. A little reformer work. Lift back up, nice and tall out of your lower back, point and flex, forehead to knee, and climb it down. One more time, climb back up, sit up tall, point your foot, flex your foot, forehead to knee, climb back down. When you climb down, you have your one leg circles. So from here, point your top foot, circle to the right side, across the body, around and up. Four more, around and up. Three, and two, and one. Stop and reverse at the top. Five, it doesn't need to be very big. Four, or it could be very big. It depends on what you want. Two, and one. And then hug that knee in. Use a roll up to come up so we can do our short box stretches. All the way up. Bend both knees or you can keep the right leg straight, it's up to you. You're gonna take your left hand to the instep of your left leg, left foot. 
Bring your leg out open to the side and your chest is still facing forward. So there's your side tree. And then you're bringing your leg out in front of you. For your ITB band, you bring your opposite hand across your foot. Either you have your back hand behind you to twist or you extend your left arm long. And then you'd cross over. You could do this laying down as well and move your hips forward and your heel in for a stretch. So in this nice tight position, we're gonna roll like a ball. So just put your feet down, try not to fall backwards, grab your ankles, lift your feet up and go for it. Rock back and up. Keep that nice tight position and up. If you need a wider position, you would hold behind your thighs and maybe your feet are not even together. That's okay. If you can, you stay nice and tight. Two more. And up. One more time. Come up, hold your balance, everybody. Keep your feet off the mat. Both hands come to the right shin and stretch your left leg out and then lift your elbows up nice and high. You're rolling back only to the tips of the shoulder blades for single leg stretch. Your left leg's out to 45. Switch to the left side, right leg stretches. Switch back to the first side and the second side. First side, second side. Let's pick up the tempo for 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one to the left. Hug your knees in and give your head a rest. You can turn it side to side if you feel any tension in your neck or shoulders. Double leg stretches next. We're gonna do two variations. First one, very old school, lift your head up. Just like the 100, you extend your arms and legs forward, inhale, and then exhale, hug the knees in. <sighs> inhale, exhale. You can also keep your head down <sighs> and keep your legs higher. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> two more like that. Inhale, and exhale. <sighs> One more time, inhale and exhale. Now keep your head up, reach back, inhale. Circle the arms, exhale. You got it, inhale, circle, exhale. Three more and exhale. Two more, if the first one works better for you, stick with that one. One more time, exhale, hug your knees in, rest your head and look to one side and the other side. And then scissors are next. Lift your head up, stretch your legs to the ceiling, grab the right leg with your hands. You could also hold nice and low or up high. Draw the leg to you once and twice, switch to the left, pull once, twice, switch to the right, pull, pull, switch to the left, pull, pull, to the right, pull, pull, left pull, pull, right pull, pull, and pull, pull. A few more like this, and then we're gonna transition to singles. And then singles, pull right, pull left, and right, and left. Four, three, two, and one. And then bend both knees in and give your head a rest. For lower and lift, you have a choice of putting your hands in kind of a diamond shape and wedging them underneath your hips behind your low back to support your back. If you don't want that one, you would bring your hands both behind your head to come up into your crisscross. So from here, or sorry, lower left, so both legs go up, elbows are wide, and then lower the legs for three, lower for two, lower for one, and lift them up on one. Lower for three, two, stretch them longer, and lift them back up. Two more with this rhythm. Anytime you need a rest, you take one, and lower, lengthen to lift, one more, lower, Lower, it's not over, lower. And then you go down on the count of one, find your low point and lift slowly up for three, two, one. Lower down, lift up three, up two, up one. Two more like that, still not over. Up, 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 one more time, lift up. Now single counts down and up four times. Down, up four. Down, up three, down, up two, 
down and up one, take a rest. So the last one in the ab series of five is crisscross. You can bring your hands behind your head for this one for sure. As you curl up, shift your knees away to tabletop. So that's gonna be your center position for the first few reps. Twist to the right and extend the left leg long, going towards the bent knee with the opposite elbow. Then find your tabletop. Twist away to the opposite elbow and come back to tabletop. To the right for three twists, two, one, center tabletop. To the left for three, two, one, center tabletop. Right three, two, one, center curl up. Left three, two, one. That was our warm up. Now we've got 20. To the right, to the left. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. You got this. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. Take a rest for a moment. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhale and exhale all the air out. And when you're ready, you can roll up or rock up to seated for spine stretch forward. Move back on your mat. So if it's hard for you to sit up very straight and spine stretch forward, you can either sit on a pillow, a foam roller, or you can bend your knees and prop them up with your feet flexed. If you have no problem lifting and sitting up tall, you can keep your legs straight. From here, reach your arms out in front of you. We'll do a few using the hands for support. So slide your hands along your mat or your floor forward. And maybe even with your knees bent, you can grab your insoles or your arches of your feet and give yourself a stretch down. Let go and return your arms out in front of you as you inhale. Do that again. Chin to chest, nose to the belly button, crown of the head to the mat. As you exhale, reach forward, grab your feet and try to bring the crown of your head down to the mat. And then inhale, come all the way back up. One more like that, using the hands for support, you slide your hands away from you, grab your feet, and pull the crown of your head down. Inhale, come up, and let's do a few without holding. Inhale at the top, and exhale, stretch forward. Now pump the air out, three, exhale, two, exhale, one, inhale, roll up, to seated. Do that again, roll forward, exhale, pump three, two, one, inhale, come up. One more like that, exhale, emptying the lungs completely, three, two, one, inhale, sit all the way back up, lower your hands into set up or open leg rocker. You can go back into that half roll down position, hold them behind your thighs, the legs are apart, you lift one leg up to tabletop, bring the other leg up to meet it, elbows are wide. If you have a straight leg version already in your practice, you would extend the legs. Otherwise, you'd stay behind the thighs with soft knees, chin to your chest, rock back. As you roll up, find your balance and open the chest. Proud chest at the top, but keep your C curve with your lower body. Rock back, chin to your chest, roll up and balance. Rock it back and roll up. So no matter what you're doing with your upper body, you wanna stay on the back of your sit bones so that you don't injure your tailbone at all. And up. Two more, just practice this rolling action. If rolling like a ball works better for you, you go back to rolling like a ball. This is the last one. Hold your balance. Close the legs. Reach your arms out, find your teaser, close the legs up, and lay all the way down to your mat and hug your knees in again. So then stretch your legs, um, your arms out straight on the mat and stretch your legs straight up to the ceiling. Now, if you need soft knees for your corkscrew, you could always bend them into a nice, long diamond shape position. Otherwise, the legs stay straight. Tick tock your legs to the right just to get used to the right side stretching. And then come center. Tick tock your legs to the left. So no circling yet. They just go left and right. The head is down. The arms are long by your sides. Take the legs to the right again. And center. Tick tock to the left and center. 
Start your circle by tick-tocking to the right. Now roll your legs around center to the left. Find your left for sure, like your tick-tock, and come center. Tick-tock to the left, stretch over, circle the legs down around to the right, and center. So you want to take your tick-tock into your corkscrew, around to the right, and center, and left, down around to the right. So you'll know from your right or left corkscrew if you're actually doing the action or if you're just dropping your legs or making a letter D. So on the next one, when your legs come center, you can soften your knees if you want, and then you do a little lift of the hips, up and back down. It's maybe three or four vertebra, it's not a big lift. If you have a hard time keeping your legs together, cross at the ankles and do the same thing with the legs crossed. Up and back down, up and down, four more, and three, and two, and one, and then bend your knees in just for a moment, because we're gonna put those three things together, your tick-tock, your circle, and the lift of the hips. Lower your arms back down, extend your legs up, lift the hips first, lower your hips down, tick-tock right, circle center, tick-tock left, and stop in the middle, roll up, Roll down, tick-tock left, center, right, and come to the middle to lift your hips again, and right, around to the left, center and lift, to the left, around to the right, center and lift, one more to each side, right, around to the left, center and lift, and left, around to the right, one more lift, and then bend your knees in, give yourself a hug, and take a deep breath, and then placing your hands underneath your thighs, you can rock up to seated for saw. Moving back on your mat, straighten your legs out, open your arms out to a T position, twist right, and literally saw off your pinky toe with your pinky finger for three, two, one, and then lift up center. Twist to the other side. If you have a hard time stretching, you can put your back hand behind you and bend your knees. So you can always work a modification if something else doesn't work. To the right side again, for three, two, one, center up, left side. Three, two, one. If you're flexible, maybe you can bring your ear down to your opposite knee. Three, two, one, and center to the left. Two more sets. Exhale as you dive down. Inhale as you sit up. To the left, exhale. Inhale as you sit up. One more to the right side. Twist to your waist. Inhale to sit up. And take it to the left, exhale. Inhale, sit up, relax your arms. And then you're gonna flip onto your abdominals for swan prep. So either way is fine. So once you are on your stomach, you're going to take one hand and place it over the other hand like a pillow and glue your forehead to your hands. So once you're on your stomach, soften your knees and relax your thighs. And what you might feel is that your knees are actually pressing into the floor and you don't have any sense of activating your glutes. From there, imagine that you're lifting your thigh muscles up, pointing your feet and pressing the tops of the feet down both legs, and you might notice that your kneecaps lift away from the floor or the mat, and you feel like your abs engage, and your, uh, your glutes as well. Now soften the knees again, so maybe your knees are in the mat. You can even wiggle your hips left to right just to check that you're kind of relaxed in that position. No tension. Now anchor your hips, draw the thigh muscles up, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, and in that way you might feel again that your legs engage, your abdominals engage, and your glutes engage. So your whole lower body. Soften the knees again, do that little rock left to right, just to make sure that you're not working with a lot of tension constantly in your hips. And then do that same stretching out. Lift your thighs, keep your legs engaged. Don't relax them anymore. Hands against your forehead, and lift the upper body off the mat. Check in that your thighs are still engaged, even as you lower your upper body back down. Work your legs, lift your upper body, hands against your forehead, lift a little higher, and lower back down. 
If you find as you go up and down with your swan prep that your legs relax or you need to relax your legs, feel free to do so and then re-engage your legs when you're ready. Inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. Inhale to go up and exhale to go down. Three more, inhale to go up, exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. Next one, inhale, stay up and little pulses. Keep your legs strong. Up eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower down, sit back to your heels and take a stretch all the way back. Take a big breath, inhale while you're stretching and exhale, let all the air out. Do that again, wherever you're feeling tension, try to take that big breath in and then let it all out. Come back forward on your stomach for your single leg kicks. When you prop yourself up on your elbows and forearms, you have a choice to keep your arms parallel with fists, or you make kind of a tripod where you're putting one fist into the other palm. And you want to imagine in this one that you're literally dragging your chest to the front edge of your mat. So if your arms are out and your head is down, pull your elbows towards your hips and open your chest. It'll help you engage the whole front of your body and your biceps. Walk your legs closer by rocking left to right until your legs are truly touching. So you just kind of walk them in and in. So once your legs are together and you feel that drag forward, bend your right knee, kick your tush once, twice. Softly put that right foot down. Keep pressing into the mat with your arms, kick left once, twice. Softly put that foot down, right, kick, kick. Put the foot down, left side, kick, kick. Put it down, one more slow and I promise we'll pick up the tempo. Left kick, kick, and then go a little faster to the right, and the left, and the right. Now neither foot is touching the mat, and kick, kick, and kick, kick. Now check in with your upper body, and feel like you're dragging yourself forward. Use your elbows and your fists. Keep going for four, and three, and two, and one. Lower your legs down, and double check that your legs are still tight together, and then go back to your first position, resting your head, your forehead on your hands. So we'll do a modified double leg kick. So from here, keep the legs together like they're one leg. Anchor your hips. Bend both knees. We kick the hips three times. Kick in three, two, one. Stretch your legs out. Engage your thighs like you did at the start. And lift your upper body and inhale, inhale, inhale. Lower back down. Exhale, kick. Three, two, one. Lower the legs. Work your legs. Work your glutes and inhale, lift. Lift, lift. Lower the upper body, exhale, kick three, two, one. Lower the legs, inhale, lift, lift, lift. Three more sets, exhale, kick, kick, kick. Lower the legs, lift three, two, one. Two more times. Last one, kick it out, three, two, one. Inhale, lift, hold it here everybody if you can. Stretch your arms back towards your heels like you're reaching for them. Lift your legs up off the mat so now you're just on your stomach. Keep your gaze low. Inhale, lift your chest a little bit higher. Exhale, lift your legs a little higher. Inhale, lift the chest a little higher. Exhale, lift the legs a little higher. One more time, inhale, lift the chest a little higher. Exhale, lift the legs and sit all the way back to your heels and stretch. And just remember when you sit back into your stretch that it's an opportunity for you to relax. Gather your breath, gather your energy again. All right, from here we're going into the neck pull. So we'll do a modified neck pull first and then we'll move on from there. So you're sitting in the same position that you were in for your spine stretch forward and your saw, your legs are apart. Your feet are flexed, and now lay all the way down, everybody. Your hands are going to come behind your head. One hand is stacked on top of the other hand, right at the base of your skull below your hairline. You do a giant sit-up with a big breath. So inhale while you're on the mat. You can always bend your knees, too. Remember that. And one, two, three, inhale up. Exhale. Dive forward. Then inhale, sit up tall. Try to press your elbows open wide. C-curve your spine and look towards where your belly button is. 
and start to roll down, stretch through your legs. So you're kind of gazing down the front of your body until you land again and let your elbows open wide. Do that again. It's a big move and a big breath. Inhale, curl up, exhale. Forehead to knee, elbows lift. You roll from lower back, upper back, all the way through the crown of your head. Now find your C curve, look towards your abdominals and gaze down your legs. Press through the soles of the feet as you roll down all the way to the mat and let your elbows rest again. One more like that. Big breath. Inhale up. Exhale, dive forward. <sighs> Inhale, sit up. Find your seat curve. Pull your abdominals in and look, gaze down your legs. You're pushing through the legs to roll down. Now pick up the tempo, but use whatever modification you need, even grabbing your thighs. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Hands return behind your head. When you sit up this time, hinge back, slide your sacrum under, look towards your abdominals and roll down. Again, like I said, if you need your hands, you reach them behind your thighs and pull yourself up. Exhale, hands behind your head. Inhale, sit up, hinge back, slide your sacrum under and roll down three more times. Inhale up, exhale, dive. Inhale up tall, lean it back and exhale, roll down. One more time, inhale up, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, sit up, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it, and roll down to the mat. Great. From here, before we go into the shoulder bridge, we'll do a kneeling thigh stretch. If that doesn't feel good for you, then you are welcome to stay on the mat and do whatever stretch you want to do or work a few shoulder bridges before we go into the shoulder bridge kicks. So just to get a sense of what you want to do when you're in your shoulder bridge on the mat, this thigh stretch is very helpful. So your legs are inner hip width apart once you're up on your knees. And even if your legs aren't touching, you want this idea that even if the legs are apart, that you're trying to squeeze them shut so that you really work the inner thighs, your pelvic floor and your lower abdominals. So you don't want the thighs relaxed like they were for your swan. You want the thighs drawing together. So we're having that energy into your inner thighs, reach your arms out in front of you like spine stretch forward and start to lean back lean back a little bit more and lean back a little bit more. You might notice that you start to feel your thighs engage and then come back up. So I want you to remember this sensation because this is what we're going to try to recreate when you're in your shoulder bridge, leaning back, leaning back and come back up. If it feels better for you to tuck your toes under in this position for a modified position, you can do that as well. Flatten your stomach when you go back and come back up. Use your glutes to help you. Do that one more time. Try to remember the sensation and come back up. And then you're gonna lay onto your back. And let's see if we can redo that when you're on your back. So place your feet on the mat, heels are close to your seat. Bridge your hips up. And the idea is that you're trying to stretch your thighs forward. So it's almost like your toes are gripping the floor or your mat and pulling your thighs forward so your knees are trying to reach past your toes. Your stomach is drawn in just like when you were doing your hinge back and then roll back down to the mat, relax everything. Do that again, lift back up. Try to recreate your thigh stretch by pulling yourself forward with your toes, opening your chest and stretching your head out in the opposite direction. So getting that stretch in two directions is also going to help increase the sensation. Open your hip flexors and engaging your thighs and roll it back down. One more time. Work that oppositional stretch. So this might not be where you need to set your feet for your kicks. When you roll down, wherever it's best for you to put your feet for your shoulder bridge kicks, you would readjust. If you need your hips down to do the kicks, you keep your hip, hips on the mat. Otherwise, you lift your hips up. You find that same dynamic energy as you shift the weight to your left leg. Extend the right leg out long. Point the foot up and kick once, twice, and then flex and reach your legs thigh to thigh. Point kick up once, twice, flex, reach it out. Three more times. Kick, kick. Flex and reach. Two more. Kick, kick. Flex and reach. One more and then lower that right foot underneath you where it started and extend the left leg out. Point your foot, kick up once, twice, flex and reach. 
point kick kick flex and reach three more and two and one and then slide that left foot underneath you roll it down we're not completely done so you're going to find pilates stance up on your toes heels together now if this cramps you or doesn't feel right please do whatever works best for you so with your heels elevated in Pilates stance, your knees are definitely apart, shoulder width at least. So from here, the heels go down and back up. Think like tendon stretch. Lower the heels, lift the heels. Lower and lift. Six more. Five. As the heels go down the hips, try to stay up. Three. Two, if you work parallel, that feels better, go for it. Now keep your heels up, the hips go down and up, all the way to the ceiling, down and up. So during semicircle on the reformer, we do a lot of this lowering and lifting of the hips. So it feels good to have that energy from underneath your glutes and your hamstrings to help you go up. Five more, four more, and three, and two, and one, when you lower your hips down, do a figure four stretch. So you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left thigh, hold with two hands behind the thigh, the left thigh, and pull the leg towards you. And if you want, you can take your right hand to open the, your right knee out to the side while you pull the left thigh in. And switching to the other side, left leg crosses over the right thigh, Again, you're pulling the right thigh towards you, and maybe you can push your left leg away, but check that the back of both hips are equally weighted in the mat. Maybe you do a little rock left to right to try to see if you can find your center. All right, from here, let's go into our side kick series. So roll onto either side. Line yourself up with the back edge of the mat. Bring both legs forward to the front edge of the mat. And you have a couple choices. You can either keep your head down on your bicep or put a pillow under your head. Prop your head up on your hand. Make sure your hand is behind the base of your skull, not on the side of your face. Or for more advanced, you bring both hands behind your head. If your top hand is down, it's about six inches in front of the chest, pushing into the mat. You want to find your balance on your side completely. So now you're just a sliver of energy on your mat. The top leg lifts up, make your top leg longer than the bottom leg, point your foot and turn the thigh out, and then bring the thigh back parallel. Rotate out, and back parallel. Now do that with a flexed foot. Rotate out, and back parallel. Keep the stretch through the hip, rotate out, and back parallel. Now keep the stretch, turn out, and kick to the front once, twice. Point, reach to the back, and press your hand into the mat. Don't go too far with the leg so you can still balance, and use this bottom leg and the bottom elbow to support you. Flex, kick forward once, higher twice. Point, reach to the back, just far enough so you feel a little sense of balance using your bottom leg and bottom elbow. Pick up the tempo six times, kick, kick. Point, reach back. Five more, kick, kick, and back. Four more, and three, and two. Last one, forward, and back. Top leg over the bottom leg. Again, you're trying to stretch that leg longer, so point your foot, resist up three, stretch through the hip, resist up two, resist up one, flex your foot, and float it down. So it might feel a lot of sensation is building in your hip and that's okay. Lift three, if you need a rest, you take a rest. Two, one, flex, press it down. Point, resist up for three. Two, one, flex, lengthen to lower. Great, everybody, two more. Lift three, two, one, flex to lower. One more like that. Point, resist up three, two, one, flex, lengthen to lower. Reset so that that hip is stacked, the top hip is stacked over the bottom hip. Lift on one, point your top foot and press it down for three, two, one. So it's not a big giant lift, it's more how much you can work your inner and outer thigh. Flex on the lift, point, stretch it out, lower three, two, one, two more. 
point, lower three, two, one, last one, flex to go up. When you point at the top, turn your thigh out to pull it down. So you go heel to heel for your circles, 10 and nine and eight, seven, try to brush the heels together to know that you're going through center, four, three, two, one, and reverse 10 times. 10, work your outer and inner thigh in the same way that you did for your lower and lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. So your choice for your inner thigh work is rest your head and bring the whole shin down. Or if you can work your bind, you stay up on your elbow, put your foot on the mat and grab behind your ankle. So either one is perfectly fine. Reach through the bottom leg, flex the foot, and lift it up for three, two, highest on one, and then halfway down. Lift up for three, two, go straight, and halfway down. Lift, 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 halfway to lower. Two more like that, lift, two, three, halfway to lower. One more, two, three, halfway down. Now five times, press it up, keep it there. Four more, up and hold it. Three more, up and hold it. Two more, press it up. One more, hold it up in the air. You have 10 little pulses up, 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ouchie. Hold it, point your foot and circles. Five, like one leg circles. Four, three, two, one, I'm no happier than you guys on this one. Five, four, three, two, last one. Lower your leg down, bring your top leg out to meet it. Reset your position on your side so you're comfortable. Lift the top leg up. Again, stretch and make it longer than your bottom leg and stretch your bottom leg now too. Bring your bottom leg up for five and down. Bottom leg up for four. The top leg tries not to move. Three, up two, press it up, one, press and hold it up. Top leg lifts up and down for five, bottom leg doesn't move. Four, three, two, one. Keep your legs in the air together, now flex your feet, find your balance on your side so you feel supported and you kick forward and back, little scissors. Keep going, 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 kick, kick, kick. Think back, 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 back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Close the legs and lower them down onto your other side, you guys. So again, you can line yourself up with the back edge of your mat. Your modification is keeping your head down on your bicep or pulling a, putting a pillow under your head. Otherwise, your hand is behind your head, right underneath your hairline. Top hand on the mat for more advances, both hands behind your head. From here, hover the top leg up, point your foot. It might help you stretch the leg even longer than the bottom one and rotate the thigh out first and back parallel. Try to keep some energy underneath the side of your body that's on the mat as you turn out and back parallel. Now flex your foot, stretch through your heel and try the same thing. Turn the thigh out and keep the length as you go parallel. Do that again, turn the thigh out at the hip and back parallel. Great, now turn out, hold it, kick forward once, higher twice, point and reach it to the back. Maybe you don't go too far, you just wanna stretch the leg long and reach through the crown of your head. Flex kick forward while balancing on your side twice with the kick forward, a stretch back and lengthen and even work your bottom leg. Pressing it into the mat, kick forward once, twice, stretch, reach back, five more, kick, kick, stretch, reach back, four more, and three, two, last one, great, bring the top leg over the bottom leg, again, find that length so you're stacking the top hip over the bottom and not piking your hip up, so really reach through that top hip, resist up three, Resist up two, a little higher, one, flex in the air, and pull the leg back down. Point the foot, stretch and reach it up three, up two, up one, flex in the air, and stretch it back down. Three more, lift, two, three, flex lower, 
two more. Press up, three, two, one. Flex, lengthen to lower. One more time, point resist up, three, two, one. Flex and lower. Stretch through the heel like our prep and lift up on one. Point the foot, resist down three counts. Two, one, flex, lift on one. Point your foot, resist down three, two, one. Three more, flex on the way up and point on the way down. Two more, flex on the way up and point on the way down. This is the last one. When you lift, pull your leg back down, turn the thigh out, point your foot so your heel to heel and Pilates stance in circles, 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, trying to keep the upper body as quiet as possible, and then reverse 10 times. 10, with the thigh turned out, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, last one. So your choice for the um, inner thigh work is, again, you could rest your head and bring your whole shin down and not hold on at all. Prop your head up and your foot on the mat holding your bind from behind your ankle is another option or a combination. So flex your bottom foot and stretch your bottom leg out and lift it up for three, two, one, halfway down. Lift it up for three, two, one, halfway to lower. Three more like that, up, 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 halfway down, two more, wait, no. oh, it's so hard. One more time, lift three, two, one, halfway down, and then press up and hold it for five. Press up, hold it for four, up for three, up for two, up, hold it for one, 10 pulses, up 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up there, point your foot, stretch your leg out, circle slow, five round and up, four, three, two, one, Reverse five times, five, long leg, four, abdominals in, three, two, one, give your leg a rest. Bring the top leg out to meet it. Reset your position on your side. When you're ready, hover the top leg up. Stretch the bottom leg so long, it lifts and presses against the top leg. Your inner thighs are hugging together and lower just the bottom leg. Bottom leg up and bottom leg down. Three more, press the thighs together and lower. Two more, and down. Press the bottom leg up, hold it there. Lift the top leg a little, stretch and draw them back together. Up and back down. Three more, up and back down. Two more, pull it down. Last one, keep the legs together in the air, flex your feet, find your balance on your side, lift your chin and chest, and little scissors back forward, back forward with your legs flexing. Keep going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw the legs together, rest them on the mat and get ready for your teasers, you guys. So turn in whatever direction makes sense for you. And you'll lay all the way down on your mat. From here, centered on your mat, bring your legs to tabletop. And remember, you could always use your hands to help you roll up. Extend the arms long by your sides, just off the mat. Curl your head up, and as you frog your legs out to 45, you're gonna roll up to a seated position. Your arms are gonna start parallel to the floor, and then bend the knees as you roll back down to tabletop. Your head lands and your arms are staying off the mat and parallel to the floor. Do that again, lift your head up. Stretch your legs out so that you roll up. Keep your arms parallel to the floor just for the beginning. Mm -hmm. Bend the knees back to tabletop and lower your head, your arms stay just hovering. One more like that, lift the head, frog your legs out, arms re reach long, yep, and then bend the knees in, and rest your head, give your knees a hug into your chest. So you can either stick with that, or we'll advance from there. Start with your legs in tabletop and your arms are hovering, curl your head up, and roll up into your teaser. Once you get to the top now, your arms are gonna be parallel to your legs. Keep your legs where they are, you're rolling back to your shoulders. You stop and roll back up and find your teaser at the top. If that doesn't work, bend your knees in a little bit, 
and then press them back out straight to come back up. Three times we do this. One more time, halfway down, all the way up, and then bend your knees to tabletop and roll back down. You can hug your knees into your chest and even rock your hips left to right. Give yourself a stretch. We'll do one more set of those, or you can go back to the first option of rolling up and rolling back down to the mat. Reach your arms long with the legs in tabletop. Lift your head, extend your legs and roll all the way up. From here with your arms parallel to your legs, roll down, stop before your head lands, roll up. Roll it down, take your time, focus, and roll up and breathe. One more time, I know it's hard. Roll down, roll up, this is the last one. Roll down to the mat, hug your knees in, and give yourself a stretch and a rest. Again, you can rock left to right or do circles with the legs. Whatever helps you release any tension in your lower back and your hips. And then you can either rock up or roll up or just flip on your stomach for swimming. It's up to you. I'm gonna roll up and turn the other direction. So from here, Starting with the prep, lift your right arm, your left leg, and your head and chest, and then lower everything down. Lift your left arm, right leg, and your head and chest, and lower back down. Right arm, left leg, head and chest, and back down. Left arm, right leg, and then you're going to alternate keeping your head and chest up. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower down so you can press yourself back and stretch. Just a couple more exercises to go. So I'm sitting on my left hip, but you guys can sit on your right hip for mermaid. Whatever makes the most sense for you guys. So when your knees are bent off to the side, you have a choice of stacking your legs with the heels tight to your seat or staggering your legs. If that still doesn't work for you, you can always cross your legs and do your mermaid with your legs crossed in a comfortable position. All right, so you have a lot of different choices for how you sit in this exercise. And then you're holding onto your bent knees with your um, hand on the same side. Your opposite arm goes up to the ceiling. If that doesn't feel good, you could also bring your hand behind your head or just rest it. You're doing a side bend over to the knees that are bent. and then lift back up. Two more. And come back up. One more time to that same side. So we go three times to the bent knees and one time to do a counter stretch. So when you open your arms, flip your palms up, you're gonna bring your opposite elbow very close to your hip on the mat. So maybe you have about 10 inches or so and the opposite arm reaches up and overhead. This way you can really use that bottom elbow to help press your outside hip towards the heels. Come all the way up, place your hands down and swing your legs around to the other side. You can either stagger your legs, cross the legs in front, whatever feels best for you. Drawing your heels towards your seat if you have your knees stacked and tight towards you. Opposite arm goes up and you side bend over. And come back up. So whenever there's a stretchy exercise, obviously we don't want to rush it. And we have, want to have the opportunity to breathe and reset. One more time, side bending over. And then when you open your arms for the counter stretch, your palms face up. You place your elbows softly down, very close to your hip, so that you can press it into the mat. And instead of stretching out long, you wanna press into the elbow so that you can draw your hips down towards your heels. Maybe they'll even touch together if they're close to you. Come all the way up and turn to face in either direction on your mat for seal. If rolling like a ball is better for you, just do rolling like a ball. Otherwise, if you can do the bind, your hands come behind your heels. You cuff your heels lightly, find your seat curve, 
and slide your feet up and off the mat. Yep, and then rock back and clap one, two, three. Hold up, clap one, two, three. Head is heavy and you're looking towards the powerhouse. Press your arms into the legs gently and the legs into the arms to give you a little leverage to work the opening and closing in your hips so that you release some of the tension there and roll through your spine as well. Three more. And up. And two. And up. One more time. And up. And then place your feet softly down on the mat. You're going into your plank position. So flip onto your hands and your knees to start. So if you have a lot of push-ups in your practice and you want to do more than what I'm instructing you guys to do, you're more than welcome to. So place your hands on the floor underneath your shoulders and your legs step back into a plank position. For the first one, you're going to lower to the mat for five counts. Lower for five, four, three, two, and lay down on the mat on number one. Make sure your hands are underneath you and your toes are tucked just like we would set up for the advanced leg pull down. And in a smooth move, you're just going to push straight up. Again, lowering to the mat. Five, four, three, two, lay down on one. Gather your energy and it's smooth. You're just going to press straight up. One more like that. Lower, lower 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 lay down and again just gather your energy and nice and smooth press up lift your hips to the ceiling and stretch you can reach your heels down to the mat lengthen yourself forward find your plank and now try to do three of those without laying down on the mat lower down and up three Lower down, up two, lower down, up one, and pike your hips back up to the ceiling. Stretch. On your last one, do as many as you can until you completely tank. All right, 